what's up friends welcome back to Jude tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you now guys if you're currently experiencing windows explorer high power usage error on your windows 11 or windows 10 pc then this is a perfect video for you because i'll be sharing you some steps how you can go ahead and fix this issue and to ensure that your computer is running smooth once again so if this is something that you'll find useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and let me know in the comments below later if this was helpful for you, right? Now the first thing that you wanna do guys is simply right click on the Windows icon here, and you want to click on Task Manager, right? Another way you can access this is just simple. Go ahead and click these three keys on your keyboard, Control, Halt, and Delete, and it will bring up the screen where you can choose to lock the screen, and you also have the task manager there on the list as well that you can easily click task manager now once you do that guys you want to find windows explorer in the list and you simply want to right click on it and do a restart you'll realize that your screen will do a little bit dim there or let's say blank your explorer your taskbar will disappear for a moment but it will appear again and that will restart the explorer for you right the next thing that you want to do guys if you have any additional applications when the list or software programs open on your computer that you don't need at the moment you can simply go ahead and close them you can close them by simply clicking the x at the top right of those applications or you can simply go ahead and click them in the task manager by simply right click on them and do an end task or just simply click them in the list and do a end task right here right so you can simply go ahead and end those tasks now once you do that, you will see if your computer is more responsive, if it's working faster, you'll be able to tell it from that. Now, if this does not help you, then you can take it another step further by simply clicking on the Windows icon here again. And you simply want to type in advanced system settings. You will see it says view advanced system settings. You want to click on that. And then under the performance section, guys, you want to simply click on settings there and you will have a few options. Now, this is according to your preference, right? But if you're having issues with performance issue, you can select the option that says adjust for best performance, right? Now, once you do that, you realize that quite a few of these options are unchecked, right? You can go ahead and you can check them manually, which are the ones that you want, and then you can click apply. Now, as you saw before, I currently have the option that says let Windows choose what's best for my computer you can keep note of some of these and you will be able to see the ones that you might want to keep so you can have a look at these and you can check them in back or you can just simply go ahead and choose just for best performance i advise that you test them and you will be able to see what works best for you but this one generally helps to boost the performance of your computer and also to make it run faster and as i said you can check a few of these ones that you want as you see i'm doing here and then you can simply go ahead and click apply now once you do that guys you want to go ahead and you want to restart your computer to see if that actually fixed the issue for you now after you do this guys if you're still having issues you can simply go ahead and do one more thing just simply click the windows icon here now you simply want to go ahead and type power and you will see edit power plan or choose power plan you want to click on edit power plan here guys and you want to simply choose at the bottom here where you see change advanced power settings you want to click on that then you want to ensure that you choose the power plan that you have so whichever power plan that you have you simply want to click on that power plan and you want to do a restore plan default so once you click on restore plan default it will do a restore of that power plan for you now once you do that guys simply click apply click OK and you want to restart your computer. Now, after the computer is restored, guys, just simply go ahead and try again. This should in fact fix the issue for you. And I would like to also mention one thing. If your computer have any Windows update, you want to go ahead and do so. Run those updates and then restart your computer as well. And how to check for Windows updates? Simply click on the Windows icon. You simply want to type Windows update. You will see the Windows update setting. Just simply click on that. And here you will be able to check for Windows updates. So all you have to do is just simply click check for updates. If the computer has the update already, you'll be able to install it. Or you can simply do the check for updates. And whichever update will come up, you will simply install those Windows updates. Then restart your computer again. 
and try again now guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you're seeing the channel for the first time well, welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time